What's up guys, back in today being another reaction to My Hero Academia, this time with episode 8 of the 5th season. I'm very excited for today's episode, we'll be getting right into the action I believe with uh, Shoto's team versus Tetsu Tetsu's team, uh, which looks like it's going to be a really awesome battle on the face of things with uh, Ingenium, um, inherited name. Uh, last episode was really awesome with the uh, kind of in inheritations, I guess, I don't know if that's a word, but um, all the students kind of inheriting their brothers or fathers um, kind of names and powers and such was just uh, quite awesome, especially the scene with Endeavor. Uh, trying to call Shovo, but make sure you let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comment section. Uh, leave a like on the video if you guys do like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with my weekly My Hero Academia reactions. Uh, let's hop right into this episode. Okay, let's go guys. Yeah, we must be uh, getting quite close to the end of this arc, right? I imagine it's going to be split into two halves with uh, the first half being this kind of class fight and then something else in the second half but um yeah i think we've only actually got like two teams left to fight after these guys fight i think well, it looks like it was going in b's favor till we saw uh aida get his upgrade Again, I was thinking these quirks, it definitely would be awesome to have one of them, but if you do have one like Aida, where you get, you've really got a literal like engine in your legs, surely that must be either, like, pretty damn painful or must like stop some of the uh, the leg working properly or something. Just like logic, if, if you think logically about some of these quirks and stuff, it's uh, you're probably best not to actually. <laughs> it is anime. Reciprocal Turbo. Yep, you can go for a full 10 minutes now. <laughs> yeah, I think this will be the end of this fight today. Of course, it's been taking these kind of uh, double episodes for each fight, hasn't it? Yeah, that was a great moment last week with uh, Endeavour, wasn't it? Although it was only about a minute of the episode. Probably was my favourite part of the episode. I think we'll probably be getting the best out of this fight this week. They love that, man. <laughs> they love that little... Uh, I think the manga readers absolutely love that panel as well. I think that's why it's been shown so much in this anime of class 1b's i'm going to call them the leader class 1b's leader just an absolute heinous criminal looks like an absolute villain doesn't he heinous criminal is probably not the word for it <laughs> but yeah i can't wait to see shin so uh looks like he'll obviously be batting deku at the end there i think they did say that at the start didn't they and they uh, matched up the teams up. But I can't wait to see that battle again. Yeah, he's got three now. Oh shit. That animation is nice, man. Jeez. Let's go, Aida. <laughs> no match for him now let's go mudman oh damn but he's got away Okay. Match three conclusion. Yep. This one will be ending today.
<laughs> wanted to be the fast one again. Ah, so these dudes. I don't really care too much for this uh, this tail guy. Not really a lot of room to grow for this tail guy, is there? How can you improve that that much? Unless you had maybe like laser beams or katana or something you can carry in it. I don't know. But yeah, I don't really care too much for this guy. Aida, yep. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, to be fair, Aida can literally just run up to people and just chuck them in jail. <laughs> Pretty damn good uh, quirk for this type of battle, isn't it? Nice bro. And in jail he goes. Awesome. I just hope he doesn't have the same fate as his brother sticking his uh, nose in places where he maybe shouldn't. Looks like he has gained that from his brother. Oh, Tetsu Tetsu. Oh. Yep, you got to use the flames, bro. Flames pretty damn good against metal. Doesn't it? Oh, I guess he's just absorbing it. I mean, to a certain extent, right? I mean, it has a boiling point, and eventually he he would uh, melt, right? <laughs> oh damn! He's been training, but yeah, surely there's a limit. Let's go. Need to use that technique endeavor taught him. Ugh. I don't even notice that. They're sick on the floor there, isn't there? It's because you need to use it, bro. You can. Perfect upgrade. Hey, you got her. That was a fucked thing though, it actually changes his body temperature though, doesn't it? No cameras. No one else would be able to see this. I wonder what this technique is. I'm kind of ho it won't be prominence burn, will it? <laughs> Can't hope it would be, but I don't think it will. I think it's probably just a technique to make him burn as hot as possible. 
Oh, they've got a camera on them now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, man. This body temperature must be high as hell. Yeah, it's too fair. Jeez, gotta respect them, man. Gotta respect the both of them. Given that they're all. Boom. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. <laughs> you can feel the heat there. That's pretty nuts, man. That's not very nice. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Thunderhorn. I don't know if I could just take that seriously, bro. <laughs> Although she seems to be fucking stuff up with those horns, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this English, man? Oh shit! Soft guys here. This is not good. That reminds me a little bit of. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name because they're all very Italian. <laughs> Um, from Jojo's, the mud guy, you know, the one that eats the mud. It also reminds me a little bit of Mirio's quirk, a little bit, swimming through the ground like that. Oof. So those horns are going to send them straight to jail. Damn, yeah, so you can get out of there now and he can't leave. That was pretty damn sick from her, to be fair. Again, though, I don't, I really, yeah. <laughs> Both the tail guy and her, not really the best uh, quirks ever, are they? Flying horns. And now it's taken as effect, as expected. Oh shit, it's got a fireball. Or fire fist. Oh shit. Here as well. Damn, right at the end there as well. He would have done that. Oh, 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 let's go, Ada. But yeah, I think I think I didn't think Shoto had that for sure. Look at the state of Tetsu Tetsu. One more hit on him, and he would have been done for. Ice. I'd rather save his friend and put his uh put the enemy in prison. 
It was. I was thinking that as soon as he left him. This guy can just go around and chuck all you guys in prison. <laughs> if he wanted to. Not yet, though. They haven't lost quite yet. Mud Man is pretty damn awesome, isn't he? And Tetsu Tetsu, of course. Oh, what is he planning to do here? So he softened up that building. Ah. Surely he can just go to the side. Oh, no. It's a straight line. De oh crap everyone's down <laughs> no that's the thing isn't it holy shit man that is awesome come on in jenny man it looks like it's all stiffened up though jesus one step faster Jeez. What the hell is going to happen now? Is it just going to be a stalemate? You think so? I think Mudman's the MVP of this one, personally. That's just these two. It all comes down to these two. Oh, and her quirk's going to be quite good for this, isn't it? Yeah, she's got four horns. She can save her friends and put the enemy in jail. No, you couldn't, though. But just the fact that she's got these choices... Make her the favourite here. Fair play. Sometimes you need to run away. Yep. Ah, I got time in that. And you just need to have more people in the jail and it's even right now that's a draw fair play she didn't lose it for her team personally I'm not that happy with her though surely you should go for the win there I mean it is and it's a safe option and especially in this hero world when you're actually out and Facing villains, you should do that, but I don't know. Something about that doesn't sit right with me. He did I'm very sick though. He was definitely in contention for MVP as well, but Mudman done a whole lot. And for the fourth match.
<laughs> yeah, Shoto would definitely beat Tetsu Tetsu, I think. Yep. What's the beers, brother? <clears throat> it's Mud Man. Well, I don't know, bro. He done pretty damn well. That is definitely a class 1A quirk if I've seen one. Mud Man. I mean, how the hell did Tail get in and Mud Man is in B? Up and uh, actually forgetting what this guy's quirk is, but I said just there it's copy. I think you can copy quirks, right? I'm not sure what the conditions on it are, though. Good to know. Okay. Yeah, look like it's back. He goes team's turn. He hasn't got the strongest team ever, has he? He doesn't really doesn't need it. And I'm guessing this is gonna end the episode. Yeah. So who's it? I I know no one from Class B's team. Interesting. But as it said there just before it ended. Ugh, sorry, I just woke up by the way. <laughs> um that girl made it through a recommendation, which I think we saw from the first season anyway. I think Shoto went through a recommendation as well. Again, I can't quite remember because it's been a long time since I watched the first season. But I think that's a kind of big thing in terms of uh, power. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what those four can do. Again, I haven't seen any of their quirks or anything they can do. Well, I don't remember it at least. But um, back ago, obviously, we know he's a power house, isn't he? But he hasn't got the strongest team ever. Sugar Rush, definitely not the strongest quirk ever. Earphone Jack is uh, pretty decent. Um, and the tape guy is pretty decent as well, but nothing like uh, Todoroki or Readers. But yeah, that was a great episode for animation and uh, obviously fight scenes as well. Oh, really quick. But yeah, the animation on Readers uh, boosters was sick, man. I'm very, uh, I think the my the two fights I'm looking forward to most are coming up now, though, I think. Especially the last one. Preview. Yep, it's very even at the minute. So she has got something crazy. Early bird. Oh crap. He changed his fighting style? Huh. I wonder what uh what he uses now. Obviously he's using explosions still, but that should be awesome to see. Um but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section about that episode. Really awesome episode, especially uh well it was all fighting and animation, but um it was absolutely crazy, uh, especially um in uh in comparison to 
episode last week uh, a lot nicer animation and uh, some really really awesome scenes this week um, some very powerful uh, quirks coming out as well to play um, except for the horns and the tail for god's sake <laughs> those two quirks are a bit laughable aren't they but make sure you let me know what you guys thought again down in the uh, comment section below uh, leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions i'll be back next week with episode nine so look forward to that have a good rest of your day guys